All right, welcome to Geometry 6-6. -6. We're looking at uh, spheres and their surface area and their volume. And before we get into the formulas and solving some problems, um, we just kind of need to look at a few definitions here um, just to help us understand all the points. And the first, I guess, would just be what is, how do you define a sphere? And uh, it's, it's really the relationship between um, the center um, and all the points around. And so a sphere is all the points um, that are equidistant from a given point called the center, meaning, and I'll just draw some lines here, I'll do it in pink, that from this point, all, all this, all the set of points, no matter what part of the circle you're touching, right, all the set of points, I mean, here's a point, here's a point, here's a point, here's a point on the back side and on the front, right, all these points are equidistant, they're the same distance from the center of the circle, which is right here. I mean, that just, that just makes sense, right? So uh, from this point, so if the point was up here, right, uh, this is going to be a lot closer from here than it is all the way to here. So that's, that's not what we're talking about. But from the center, all points that make up the sphere uh, will be equidistant. A radius then, let me actually just go back further if I can. Well, that's all I can go. A radius, then, is going to be a segment. Sorry, I'm trying to fix this. A radius, then, and I'll draw it in red, is going to be a segment that has one endpoint at the center, say here, and the other endpoint at the, at the end of the sphere. And this is your radius. Just like a circle, we're just talking about the center of the sphere now. Um, the diameter would just pass all the way through, but it needs to, again, pass through the center of the circle. Uh, and what we are going to define is what is a great circle. A great circle is, uh, we'll first just talk about if we took a cross section of this. Um, so if I cut this out, what I would cut out of it would actually be a circle would get cut out. Again, so if I took a plane that crossed through this sphere, a circle would get cut out. And I could do that at any level I want, right? So I can do one underneath here if I wanted to. And it here, another circle, would a bigger circle, sorry, would get cut out. Um, let me delete that again. What a great circle is, is a great circle is when a plane... Um, Well, the great circle is the circle that lies on the plane and the plane uh, has the center on it. So if we took, if we came down with all these planes, right, eventually we'll, we'll be halfway, right? And halfway is going to be the greatest, the biggest circle that we can make, the great circle, right? And the great circle passes through the center of the circle. Um, it divides the circle in two halves. Uh, this is the hemisphere. And this is a hemisphere. Um, also, this great circle is the circumference of the circle. It's the longest circle around the sphere. Um, so the plane could have come vertically and created this. This is another circumference of the circle, right? The great circle. All right, let's move on. For the surface area of a circle, um, you can see here, the surface area is just pi or 4 pi r squared. Uh, and so again, we're just going to substitute values. Uh, R being the radius, and we can see that our radius is, oops, excuse me, our radius is 10 centimeters. So to find the surface area of this, um, the surface area equals 4 pi, and our radius is 10 centimeters squared. Now, uh, 10 centimeters squared is 100. 100 times 4 is 400. And if we keep it in terms of pi, the surface area is 400 pi centimeters squared. Simple as that. Um, so again, we just substitute whatever the radius is into 
uh, our radius and our formula, surface area of a sphere, is 4 pi r squared. Let's look at volume. The volume of the sphere, very similarly, we're just going to substitute our 6 into the radius. So the volume is uh, 4 thirds pi r squared. Pi r cubed, sorry, because we're talking about volume. Uh, so volume equals 4 thirds. I'm going to move pi just to the end here. Our radius is 6 volume equals 4 thirds times times 216. That's what 6 cubed is. 4 thirds times 216 is 288 pi. Um, and we'll just keep this in terms of pi again. Um, so this would be centimeters cubed since we're talking about volume. Okay, that's it for today. So uh, the book's going to have you do some questions where you're finding the, form of the surface area and the volume of spheres. Good luck. Consult your book if you have any more questions. Talk to you next time.